Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we're going to test out the gaming performance of the new Micromax Juice 3. So the Micromax Canvas Juice 3 is a new budget smartphone which is priced 899 and this comes with a massive uh, 4000 mAh battery. It's powered by a MediaTek chipset uh, with 2GB RAM. It's a quad core chipset with 2GB RAM. It has a 5 inch HD display and 8 gigabyte internal storage so we have the device with us right now so we'll uh, test out the gaming abilities of this device so we'll see how far the gaming experience is the heating of this device while playing games and more so let's start off the gaming experience uh, we'll play four games riptide gp2 asphalt 8 airborne real racing 3 and dead trigger 2 so let's start off with uh, asphalt 8 airborne So now we are playing Asphalt 8 Airborne and you can see uh, the graphic performance looks pretty good. It's a pretty smooth performance uh, in the start of the game. I can see everything uh, comes pretty good here. No major lag or issues. We are playing uh, in medium graphic setting. That's the default settings and we are not changed it uh, probably because uh, uh, this device is a budget smartphone or rather a device which is priced uh, below the 10k price point and uh, for this uh, pricing we don't really expect a high-end graphic uh, quality so that's the reason we have uh, set the graphic quality to medium and uh, in the medium graphic quality we would say this is a pretty good performance and the overall graphic uh, quality of uh, this uh, game looks pretty decent you can see the graphic rendering uh, looks pretty okay no lag and it's pretty responsive as well so overall this game is definitely playable on this device no major issues So Asphalt 8 Airborne uh, plays without any issues on this device. Uh, occasional frame skips uh, do happen but uh, we don't really feel that would cause a big issue to this uh, gaming experience. Overall we would say this is a decent gaming experience. So we are now just completed with uh, the gaming Asphalt 8 Airborne and you can see the temperature has now risen to 37.5. The rear panel again it's uh, around the 36 or uh, 37 mark. So there is an increase in temperature uh, but then that's uh, probably we have played one game now let's play uh, the Riptide GP2. So now we are playing Riptide GP2. So here again you can see the quality looks pretty good, there's no lag or issues. You can see uh, the display is uh, pretty responsive and the overall display quality, the HD display quality also looks pretty good. So slight frame skips are happening here and there but again uh, not a big issue. So now we are playing Real Racing 3. So 
so here again you can see the overall performance uh, looks uh, decent it's pretty light free experience So now we are completed with real racing 3 and let's see the temperature it's now 39.5 it's slightly lower than uh, 40 degrees uh, so here you can see the rear panel it's 37.3 uh, that's the maximum and uh, on the display it's uh, 39 around the 39 mark so that's the maximum temperature right now now finally we'll play dead trigger 2 So now we are playing our uh, dead trigger 2. So here again uh, the overall performance looks pretty good and the quality of graphics is also pretty good no lag or issues here the graphic quality is also pretty good So now we have played uh, 4 games and let's see the final temperature. It's around again uh, the 38-39 degrees that's the maximum uh, we have achieved uh, on this device. So uh, probably it would go up the maximum up to 40-41 that's all I don't think uh, it will go beyond that. Uh, we have played for almost uh, 30 minutes now and uh, the heating was uh, uh, nominal uh, just 39-40 degrees maximum that's well under 40. So that's not really a big issue, uh, heating is not a big issue on this device and uh, the overall performance i would say it's uh, pretty good uh, considering that this is a budget phone the 2 gigabyte ram and uh, a mediatek uh, quad core chipset works uh, pretty well and the hd display is also pretty good uh, overall so that was the gaming experience of um, uh, the micromax canvas juice 3 with 2 gigabyte ram and then quad core chipset so that's all guys hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day